Watch you it. You don't think I have rap credibility? <laughs> oh, shit. Turned it like a switch, just like Stallone. Okay. Like Steven Seagal. You're blurry. Uh, Cactus Juice Caboose says he can't hear. I hope. Oh, uh, let me turn up the mic. Sorry, guys. So we're, we're turning up the mic. Sorry, Danny Mac. We're turning, Danny Mac. We're turning up the mic. Turn burning okay. down. Okay, anyway, we're going to start the interview. We said turn up the mic. For those of you that missed it, I just turned my cap backwards so I could have rap credibility. But anyway, here I am with the proof. How's it going, KMX? Uh, hey! Uh, Woo! Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, LaBeouf, LaBeouf, LaBeouf is on fire, but before we bring out the water, be before we even uh, decide to let them burn, let's say, when when did, uh, you, you were telling me about how exactly Le LaBeouf started, when, well, uh, how before? and when did this come about? Uh, about two years ago, yeah. mm -hmm. um, we always messed around with music here and there, but uh, mm -hmm. one night I just decided... Me and Eric were going to record a rap song, and then four hours later, we <laughs> wrote, recorded, produced, and made a video of our very first song. Now, you said this is 1 a.m. when you came down with this revelation. Exactly. <laughs> right, so uh, was this... Uh was this on a work day by any chance, or was this it was a uh, Sunday night? <laughs> was it Sunday night? Sunday night, and brilliance just hit. So you, uh, so, Inspirado so you're sprung. Inspirado was sprung. Inspirado was sprung. You can't imagine. It's like that movie, Phenomenon. Phenomenon. With John Phenomenon. Travolta. The light just hit me, and mm -hmm. greatness. Well, and the powers were instilled upon us. Now I should have asked this first, but I had to get that out of the way. Who who is everybody in Labouf? Who are the three lobsters? I'm the oldest brother. My name is Jackie Guy Kings. I'm the younger brother. I'm the Shady <laughs> Pimp. And I'm the cousin, Jimmy Crack. Okay, now Jimmy Crack. Was, 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 was Jimmy Crack, was, was he the last of the, uh, the equation? Was, was he the, 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 the third wheel at it after you had your like uh, one, to, one, 1 to 5 a.m. recording session? Jimmy is a very elusive person. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he's like, he's like the the third honorary member whenever we can find him. <laughs> so. well, he basically just comes in and shows everyone what you got. Yeah, he was a late addition, but he's a strong member of the team. He tears it up. Well, what really was the inspiration behind names such as La Bouf? Actually, this is a pretty good story. We were, uh, we were up camping in the woods, and we uh, ate a massive amount of fungus, and we were watching Transformers. Fun stuff. And uh, my brother just looked at me and he said, Walla Walla Boofington, and I lost it. And the LaBeouf wow. name stuck as an inside joke for about a month, and then... Yeah. We call it Walla Walla, Walla the Boofington? Why not make a phony Walla answer? Walla. from Walla Walla Boofington to Dr. LaBoofenstein to David LaBoofelhoff to... LaBoofelhoff? Every right. LaBoofosaurus Now, when, when I saw Transformers 2, I definitely felt like I was swallowing loads of fungi. And it definitely uh, drove me out of my mind, but again, I, I was just I was just watching it, you know, n n normally uh, when did it come out, I think, on, on, on a Thursday, on a Thursday night, that's kind of how I felt, but there was, I don't know, Transformers 2 has that effect on it, but it's good to see that something positive came out of that. <laughs> At least something good came out of it. Yes. <laughs> PBR revelation. PBR revelation. Revolution. Boom! That's for you, Danny Mac. Now, we, we've had shows here where we talk about all the different styles of, of heavy metal that there are and how it's a pretty much an ongoing joke to try to name anything because you can come up with about 10 billion subgenres for anything. So if you guys had to describe yourselves, are you a power metal, death metal, or are you dubstep trip hop? Yeah, what is your dubstep, genre? Dubstep, crap hop, whatever that is. Crap hop. Dude, I, I made up that genre sure, right I'm now. I'm not sure if we have a genre, really. Yeah, we're kind of all over the place. We like, to get, we like to get lit. We like mm -hmm. to use movie quotes. We, use we like East to talk Coast. about being white. Mm -hmm. East Coast, West Coast beats, it doesn't matter. We're everything. We See, I think East Coast, rap was invented on the East Coast. It was perfected on the West Coast, and it's got a real flavor down south. And that's mm -hmm. the kind of rap I like. Just As dirty ass down south rap. Now who who does the uh, who does the beats? The internet. <laughs> okay, you get you get the beats right off the internet, and then we, uh, we, I, I get permission from like mm -hmm. uh, amateur producers that you know just put their stuff up online, and uh, we have that. We have a couple uh, like I guess mainstream beats that we ripped off, and. Uh, <laughs> 
copyrights. Campanelli <laughs> from from Siberia, the genius musician he is. He made us a few beats, and uh, if you guys are lucky, we'll give you a little panty dropper to that song later on the night. Now, right now, we got a fan. We got Cactus Juice Caboose. Asking La Boof if you've ever heard of Nothing Face. I assume he's talking about the. Uh, <laughs> Nothing there's, Face. There's, there's the metal okay. band Nothing Face. I know that. Is that it? Is that what, are you guys actually a Nothing Face cover band? I've actually I've never heard the band uh, Nothing Face. Or the, the Voivod record. I wasn't. The Voivod? Yeah, Voivod have an album called Nothing Face. So. I, even, I don't know what. Voivod. Oh, I'm thinking of Murder Face. There's a couple guys from Nothing Face and uh, Hell Yeah. I know that one. Okay. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge nothing face guy. You know. Right. Nobody right. cares about the bass player anyway. So. Nobody. Sorry, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Hoffman. Hoffy. Sorry, Hoffman. He's listening right now. Thanks for the PBR. <laughs> he's here. He's not listening. He's here. Okay. Sorry. We almost incurred the wrath of Nothing Face. Wow. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that scene of the never ending story. Now, Rock Lore is going by, these are strong hands, <laughs> but they could not save my friends from at least, at least the band Nothing Face. At least you didn't name some faggot ass band after the big flying dog. A true. A true. Oh, that just, oh, that's, that just happens to be KMX's most, most loyal. Okay, band. I'm not going to go into an Atreyu parody right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and interview this band, but uh, <laughs> so we, we talked about what where it started, the, how the way you guys work, how well, where where you get the beats from, and everything. Just ask Jimmy a random question so he has to talk. All right. <laughs> okay. Put him, on, put him on the spot. Well, what I would I was going to ask like, what, what were you ask doing me. in terms of recording? I noticed you had a lot of live stuff online, right, on Reverb Nation and everything. Yeah. Yeah, we had a live set from Mojo Thirteen. Mm -hmm. We're uh, you, you named we're up Mojo Thirteen a lot in your set, so I assume that's where it was at. So. Yeah, we play there often. Now. We always play with metal bands, right which is here. weird. We're mm -hmm. always the only rap group there, but it works out. We do good responses. That that that's what the the hip hop scene is like in Wilmington, Delaware. In much it's we haven't been booed yet, so yeah, we never got booed <laughs> off stage yet. So okay. our first band, it was like you know metal, punk, and us. <laughs> were, there, were there any juggalos on the stage? <laughs> Me. You had, the one I juggalo was a juggalo. Were there any other juggalos playing that night? Did any other bands or no? There was nah. a couple in the crowd. But... Uh, a couple in the crowd. Okay. Right. So say what, don't, say what you will. Make your jokes now. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to make any jokes. It's a it's a miracle. That no one knows. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the, the stupidest fucking song that they made. They made a video mm. for. That's what everybody. But hates they about. do have fans who are into all different kinds of music. And I've seen I see metal bands with yeah. uh, with at least one guy who's got the whole who's got the whole ICP jersey on. I've seen them come in. And uh, again, at Mojo, so I'm thinking that yeah, would yeah. be that that, that, that would be a good mix. Uh, Mojo is a good melting pot for metal mm, bands, hip hop everything. bands. Pretty much, it's one of the only good local scene bars that you can go and get ape shit and not get arrested. You use the word scene. Lefties, but lefties. <laughs> but, well, we've been, there been arrested a lefty, so. <laughs> Mojo 13, that's a very good description of it. Melting pot. It is. I definitely, uh, I, I definitely do get that, but uh, as far as, like, uh, as far as album recordings, as far as releases, is there anything that you guys have down the line, or? Uh, or? Most of our stuff infringes on like 10 copyrights every song <laughs> well you won't put out a mixtape like like 50 cent yeah, tape back uh, in the day and well we, we just, have we, we have about we got about 50 songs recorded so we've been trying to whittle them down to a uh, you know prime mm -hmm. 12 or 13 the list is like 25 right now so uh -huh. they're pretty we're trying they're like demo mode i mean we used to use we just recently we recorded one song with our new microphone but before that, we used uh, SingStar microphones, their PlayStation 2 game. Yeah. Ooh, wow. I literally bought 20 PlayStation USB microphones to record all of our stuff. 20 well, bucks works, works. People <laughs> says it sounds good. 20 yeah. bucks got you the Game 2 microphones and the USB adapter. <laughs> and we get a better sound than that in my bedroom than people that go to studios and waste their money. It's Nowadays, you can get a digital 16-track recorder for like $350 if you look in the right place. Our, so our why setup, not use a $20 microphone? Our setup is an iMac with GarageBand, mm -hmm. a microphone, and a couple notebooks. And that's it. <laughs> now, this material that you wanted to put out, you wanted to win on 12 or 13 songs, is this... 
is this stuff where is, is there a lot of would there be a lot of infringement on this to the point where you can only put it out as like a, as a mixtape instead of an album? We're trying or? to yeah. trying to go away from that though. A lot of it is, but this is like it started off pretty much as a just a hobby. Mm -hmm. So we're just like, all right, we'll just steal beats wherever we can get them. Yeah. But uh, now that people tell us we don't suck, <laughs> we're gonna find. That's a good feeling. Know, yeah. We're finding producers to. Uh, yeah. We're finding producers to. You know, remake some beats or make more beats we can use our lyrics to. Shout out to uh, Here, the Micah MC and Jeremy Falcone from the, the Delco, Delco Kids. kids. Jeremy a couple, Falcone! A couple young bucks from around the way. They're, uh, they're real up and comers. They got real serious mm -hmm. talent. It's amazing. Yeah, so guys, these, these are other rappers? And yeah, these yeah. guys are I wonder from, if it's Nick Falcone's son. Uh, I'm not sure, but they're from our area, and uh, have you have you played out with them? We haven't played yeah. with them, mm -hmm. but uh, we would like to. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're good, man. They just they <laughs> just graduated high school this year. And yeah, they're young bucks, man. They're they're good. good. These all uh, Chai Chester graduates yeah, of them also. Yeah. yeah, they're Chai crew. Okay, right now you said I, I have to ask this fellow, I have to ask this man one question. Ask me. Regardless of what, it didn't really have to, I just had, just had to acknowledge that he's taking part of the interview. Exactly. So would you say there are any noticeable plot holes in The Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> what the fuck I don't watch Star Wars. I mean, his whole Jedi training. Too cool for Star Wars. He, his whole Jedi training is that Yoda's like, well, concentrate and you can lift objects with your mind. Jesus. And Luke's like, I don't know, I can't do it. He's dead there for like three hours and he's flipping out on him. I always saw it, you know. Well, Yoda talks backwards, which is like, what, why would why would yeah. you waste time doing that? Just talk normal. <laughs> no fucking shit. Yeah, that, if he's that why smart. Why would you waste fucking time? Talk oh, backwards, so why do you? Talk, talk backwards, why talk you do? Talk backwards, because I'm so smart, am I? <laughs> Rap good, why not? <laughs> Rap good, why not? Now, you ever thought about doing one of those like pop culture raps or anything? Like, you've been, look, there's all those hip hop battles that are on YouTube between different dictators and pop culture characters, and it's always it's always becoming the new rage or disgrace. Yeah, the rap battles. They're yeah. pretty good. They're funny. <laughs> They're and they call it. Wait, they, wait a minute. Cipher. Do you guys cipher? Cipher. We have a uh, like two. Rap we have a couple little goofy ones where we're really lit joking. and they're okay, we're really gonna, hard. We're going to hear those later. I know what Cypher is. Isn't that fucking amazing? Uh, we've never done a Cypher. He's the freestyler. <laughs> I'm right, in the one Cypher, I rhyme the word schmushmorshman with schmushmorshman clinic. So. <laughs> He's a genius. It seemed, well, I, I definitely... Mike, I hope you're watching the show. I see most, most of the stuff I hear from you guys, there isn't really any kind of humor. It's like very dead serious, very I mean, angry. I might angry. as well, I might as well be British because right. my sense of humor is so dry. So dry, it's drier than, uh... We put Brit comedy, Brit sense of humor. comedy references and lines that are supposed to be funny, but we don't do it in a funny way. Mm -hmm. So it sounds serious, like... That's what makes it funny. There's a Taco, sure, 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 there's a Taco exactly. Bell line coming up in one of our songs, so. <laughs> Let's try to write, try to write lines that are funny, but also like lyrically smart, where you actually have to think about it. Like, oh, you know. But then there's other stuff where I like just rap about Wendy's. And, you know. <laughs> there's not any rappers that put out intelligent rhymes anymore, besides Delco Kids. The, uh, so, so how many and times? anyone on rhyme sayers from Minnesota, yeah, like yeah. idea and atmosphere. What word do you find you guys using the most out of every word? Any word that you use? Because I hear the word dick a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't describe us as dick. Dick rappers. Dick rappers. Dick rappers. Dick rappers. Dick rappers. Dick rappers. I can make a joke. Do but... we order the condoms for KMX fan? And condoms. The, 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 that'd be some good what are work. condoms? K whatever condoms? <laughs> with your with your band logo on them. Yo, they would sell. If you could get our logo on a fucking condom. They come in a little poppy case too. They would. Sell. You'd have to poke holes in them first though. <laughs> what do you do, <laughs> because pre poked You can, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? The population boost will be due to us. Oh, we have a bunch of little LaBeoufs. That's kind of frightening. Hey, I got a little LaBeouf. He's got a little nine baby months Jack. Old. He's nine yeah. months old. I named him after this He fool. was born three months premature. He's a motherfucking soldier. He's going to be the toughest kid in the history of the world. He I'm going to teach him to break arms. He was a pound and a half when he was born, and he's a fucking beast now. And he's got, a homeboy. Can, can he rap, or you think he'd be better off doing the beats? <laughs> as soon as he's old enough he to talk, I'm going to make him a rap song. I'm going to write him a song for him to rap. I'll well, teach him my how girlfriend's going to hate that. I'll teach him how care. to write poetry, because that's where all this rap stuff came from. Mm -hmm. I, always, I always wrote poetry, and I always... Like sort of a Robert Frost? 
Go no. on Chichester. <laughs> no, I just I couldn't. I don't know no. any poets. <laughs> no, I don't know anything about. I wasn't poetry, good at English. So I write right. words that rhyme. Yeah. That's See, uh, I I grew up in the the Lower Merion School District, and he didn't really have a lot of uh, great rap in that area when when I was growing up. He didn't really have a in terms of music, you didn't really have shit, actually. But, I can uh, imagine. Yes, I, 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 that, that's the only time, it's the only instance where I can be like, hey, I'm from the main line. I grew up with nothing <laughs> when it comes to something musical. And I do remember I uh, went, went to a battle of the bands once, and there was this one band, they formed, when they found out there was a battle of bands going on, they formed last minute. They got their friends who played instruments to just set up some really simple stuff, and they, they stole a bunch of things from the goats, if anyone remembers the goats. They so just, that's why they do it. Yeah, they stole their rhymes, and like, but they did it, everything had to be really simple. Every song was like, bump, ba-da-da, da ba da bum bum ba-da-da, bum bum And it changed where it was going. Interchangeable lyrics. Yeah. Exactly, that's because again, they had to set everything up like, 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 like that, so then we're walking back from that concert, all we can think of is just, ba da 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 quoting them non-stop, yeah, I hear they got signed to Warner Brothers. Uh, they got a single dropping in the fall. It's going from ba da ba da Last weekend we were yeah. last weekend we were at Mojo for a uh, this national headlining act named Potluck, which is a very large Never black man and a very small Jewish man. Oh the shit! But underrated. He's a genius. But anyway. There was this local rap act. There was literally 12 people on the stage. Four <laughs> yeah. of them weren't doing shit. They were just sitting just there. Just standing there. But uh, one of their songs, they just kept going, Smoking weed. And then when we walked a lot there, we just kept chanting it over and over again. I don't know why. See, you see, my, my friends, we were walking over to Wabba, we were thinking that, then we said, hey, let's just run into that Wabba and start going scump, ba da ba ba and see what they do. You know, what, 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 what are they, they going to do? So us to leave? Okay, we'll leave. So we did just that. We ran into the Wabba. We're carrying some guitars for us from one of the bands. We made, we made like a Beastie Boys video. You know, we jump in, scump, ba da ba ba da ba 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 like right out of what you, what you, what you want. We're doing so the slow motion what jumps. You, what, you want? what you want? And then we just leave. And they didn't really mind it. And that was kind of the end of my rapping career. But, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. gonna, Actually, gonna, I heard you got a pretty gonna, vicious freestyle. Yeah, we're hey, gonna, yeah okay. We're gonna take a one break. of my freestyles coming up. We're going to take a break and we're going to watch some KMX freestyle. How's okay, that? Okay, you're going to hear me going. All right, all right. Ba da ba ba da ba ba all right, all right. Are you guys right. ready for this shit? It's fucking awesome. Okay, wait. Turn, turn What's the with the echo and the sound? Volume's better, but turn everything's echo. Turn, turn the sound on the computer off. Are we off now? Yeah, you're off. All right, cool. All right. Turn the sound on the computer need, off? Wait, wait, I need, I need, I need sound on my computer so you can hear them. Which plug okay. is it? That turns the sound off. For, for the laptop plug. Uh, I think Audio. it's this one. Yeah. Hmm. Right here. Yeah. <clears throat> I just hope it works. Excuse me, KMX. Wires, uh, okay, they were wondering where they... Wait, 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 wait,
Where's KMX? Where is he? He's coming. We do a rap song, yeah. No, this shocked the shit out of me because he doesn't even like. I mean, it's the first time. No, this, this is the only rap I've ever done. It's a scum bun up song. You're fucking awesome. You want to do a freestyle battle? We can, KMX. I don't think I can. I think I got buried. Oh, man. <laughs> Where's my spot, Pierre? KMX, Pierre. 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 Yeah, I only know how to rap when it comes to doing a really bad version of what you want. I know, you're really good. Hey, man. You shocked the shit out of me. Superman, Poison Society. I remember Banzo. Energy's guys are, are, are my favorite of the legendary DR. Yeah, yeah, on everything. DFM, uh, the punk band. Oh, fucking rapping. What's going on? Oh, this Wednesday, 360 Live. Watch it, it's gonna be what MTV used to be. We're gonna play videos <laughs> and talk about it. Look at this one with a bunny hat in the back. You see that? This is a bunny ears and shit. So it's a good rap. Now you'll hear this. Presents? Like, 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 This guy's not half bad. Yeah, we freaking piece of shit. This is still an off free, right? Yeah, he's yeah. totally free. We'll kick a cypher in here. If you want. See, when if you're just like sitting around freestyling. Look at Kevin! You're just like sitting around freestyling and you want to keep going and keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just start picking shit around the room. Just like. Bad, for, for, not, no, for not rap, I'm not being a rap. I'd be surprised how many rappers can't do that right now. Put them on the spot, they're like, on. I lived in the Badlands for 14 years. I used to be down there with all the guys hanging out and shit. Let's just throw cameras on them and shit. They're like, oh, put a rabbit out of the hat. Do people call in for the interactive interview? Or they, they, they just, they just they type just in. They text okay. it. If I give a login, they come on video. Though. So we have the interactive interview coming up after yeah, another, another, another musical yeah, set, right? We're coming up live up to just two minutes. Okay. And then after that, we're we'll doing Dan for. So Dan. In two minutes, we're doing an interactive interview. Yeah. And then we're doing Dan, and then we're gonna come back and watch. I'm shocked these guys were fucking rapping to me with all
Makes his bow and three words for a channel every day. Yes, we should be right back over. Ooh, what the? Oh. How long fuck. do we got? Uh, you're back on. Actually. Five seconds. They're back on? Yeah, it'll be back on one minute. Yeah, there's, there's So where, where the fuck do I put anything? Uh, I, the, uh, they get the plug back sure for the laptop, right now, and then they're going to come back. So we're going to, oh wait. Hi, we're back. Time for the interactive part. Hey, how about that KMX? He shocked the shit out of me that day. I never knew he could rap until that very moment, and I almost yeah. freaking had a heart attack. Them and DFM. KMX. 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 Right, I gotta go. Okay, you ready, guys? My cap is still Audience, backwards. We want to know really some, uh, okay, some very cool things about these guys. So, freaking crush is ready. Nothing too embarrassing, right. and we are going to, uh, then after that, we're going to meet with Dan and talk about River Rage 2012 and Lupus Foundation. So, here we go. KMX, you ready? We need microphones. Okay, what's going on? Uh, we're doing interactive, yeah, and I will sit and do your mics. mics. I'll mute the mics. Yep.